Our political coverage continues on this busy night for both presidential candidates. Let's go back to Ashley Wheel joining us live in Janesville with more on the vice president's message there today. Yeah, here at IBEW in Janesville, Vice President Kamala Harris's supporters heard loud and clear that she is going to support the unions. That was amazing. She's a wonderful woman, and I think she will do our country a wonderful job. We, we need her. Cheers of support echoed through the packed room. Vice President Harris sharing her message with only four days left until Election Day. Hard work is good work. Hard work is joyful work. And we will win. And, we will win. and stating her goals for day one. One of the things I'm doing on day one, because I can do it by executive order, is I will eliminate unnecessary degree requirements for federal jobs. Our labor and uh, bargaining conditions does set the pace for even people that are not in unions. And uh, just knowing that we set the tone for everybody else and their paychecks, uh, we hope that they understand that, and I'm glad she stands with it. Harris also continued to bash former President Trump saying he makes false promises. And so part of why I'm here is to ask all the leaders here, let's remind all the brothers and sisters of labor about who Donald Trump really is. I think they need to know that she is very passionate and she's very truthful and she really wants to make sure that everyone can benefit from her presidency. Um, and I also appreciate her support of women and what's going on with women's rights is just awful. And so I'm very glad that we have her at the top of the ticket for us. With only four days left until Election Day, both candidates are campaigning very strongly, especially in key swing states, with Kamala Harris continuing tonight in Appleton and Milwaukee. Live in Janesville, Ashley Wheel, WMTV 15 News.